very calm in music. At first I thought there was a body lying here, like that's his trousers and that's a jacket or something, but I think it's just a rock and one of these spotlights. Uh, it was a bit of a scary start. Uh, I think we're going to Providence Oaks. I don't know a damn thing about this game, but let's see what it has to offer. Not the fastest loading I've ever seen. I guess that's fine. Whoa. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great, and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well, I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow morning. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah, but, uh, do you really have to? <laughs> Two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for Addit. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith, have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. What the hell is this edit? Thanks so much for picking me up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Oh, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. We're gonna meet Newman? Sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right then, get ready to roll. Lake. It's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. Sounds easy enough. Do I have to walk in around? Um, ooh, that's sensitive. Let's take care of some settings first. All right, I think I can live with this. Might have to change my mouse settings a little bit. Walk to the mailbox. I think this is a mailbox. It says 300. Remember to raise that little flag thing. Raise the little you know flag thing. Really like about watching baseball? Oi. Not missing the first pitch. Am I not supposed to raise that flag? I thought that was the whole point of the thing. Well. Uh. Wait. What? 
Oh, it's shift. I wish it was control. I can walk a little faster. Up, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here from Massachusetts uh, 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm... Um, uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Okay. Let's see if I can manage that. Get out. And open the hatch. 103. I guess that's the one. That's lighter than I thought. Yes. Uh, do I walk to the front door? Okay. This looks great. I'm glad they didn't go with the uh, whole realistic look and all. Uh, deliver. Alright, I'll leave it on the doorstep. I'm calling it a day. Hope they don't smack it with the door when they come out. I want to change the control. Just take your time, Miss Weiss. They never start a game until Frank Coleman has turned on his TV. Yeah, because of my dumb keyboard. It's not the standard one. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Don't. Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Okay. Is this where the monsters at attack? Ah, there's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out. What time do I start tomorrow? 7, 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. It has to be okay, 7. Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. I wish we come across Newman at some point. 102. Wait. We're just at 103. Probably a different street. So this is my house then. I have blue windows. One window is left open. What is this? Are there burglars? It can't be this simple. Oh, it's my parents' house, yeah. Well, of course, because I'm here on a vacation. Wise residence, Monday afternoon. Afternoon? Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. So I'm all alone. Meredith, it's Steve. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? <laughs> ah, I'll talk to you later. He's not kidding. Definitely not kidding. Morning. Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? Uh, ready to rock. How do I, I click it? Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. 
There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. I'll probably need that. Thanks, I'll probably need that. Bon voyage! Bon appétit. Bon voyage. Whoa. Ooh, there's people. This looks so nice. Do I have a schedule? I probably have a schedule. I better get on with it. Oh, I know what I can do. Um, just a sec. Okay, I can't do it. My mouse program doesn't <laughs> recognize my mouse anymore. Uh, did I have to check something in the back? The map. Was it in the back? Um... No map. Maybe it was in the glove compartment or something. I'm so bad at listening. Oh, oh, it's on M. Okay, so... Whoa. Loud? Um... Where is what? I am here. That's 207. Main Street, 103 Main Street. I guess 500 Lake Road will be the last stop. There's no point going back and forth because of just one thing. Uh, zoom in. Oh, not there. Oh, okay. High delivery list. Oh, there's one even here. One Bear Creek. This is annoying. Uh, does it have to be delivered in order? Probably not. Okay, 207, 103. Bear Okay, I should find them. 207103, it's to the right, I believe. Oh, maybe check if there's other traffic. 207. Okay, I suck at driving with the uh, keyboard. Let's park here. So, this is 207. Is that the 207? Probably, yeah. Oh, I'm blocking traffic here. Sorry. So is this 207 then? Most likely. Hi there. Can I help you? Hello, here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. Um, you do? You do? It's best not to feel bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. Well, I hope not. I take it there's no mail. I mean, like letters and stuff. So he really can't go around my truck. I'm sorry, man. Oh, I could have... It's right here. I'm really doing this the wrong way. 103. 
Little mail. I remember this as the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Or married or something. Actually enjoying this. Yeah, me too. Should I take that one art package? No. Let's go here first. I can go around the lake to deliver the last one. Oh no 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 no! Too fast! Too fast! Try to stay on the road. Might be a good idea. Ah, the mighty Ambrose River. Maybe I should have used my steering wheel. Now that I think of it, there's two places. This is just the uh, mail. There we go. Here's your mail. Guess I'm not gonna be running because of the shift key. <clears throat> and the package to these people. Two hundred. Ooh! I wonder what's in this one. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. Well, hello to you too. Oh, oh, you mean that package? Hey. You want a friend? Okay, maybe not. Lots of cats. Missed. Oh, look, Genevieve. A new mailman. Crazy cat hello lady. There. What's your name then? I'm Meredith. Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course! You're Emily's girl, aren't you? Uh, absolutely. This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. Twenty-two of them. Twenty-two years, to be exact, but who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost oh, two Genevieves ago. Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't, but... Shh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do remember me, don't you? Absolutely. Um... <laughs> you that cuddly. How could I forget Mildred Jenkins? How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Be polite. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? What? Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yep. Yes, here you go. Ah, thank you, dear. Looks like another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. That's what people do. Um... Yeah, let's make an excuse for that guy. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Hmm. That's what he says. Yeah. That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Anyway... I won't keep you any longer. That's what everyone Run says. Here. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. Rare. Hey, next up. Next stop. 300 Lake Road. And 500 Lake Road. Uh. Bear Creek. Oh. That's gonna be a hike. Unless there's a... No, these are just... Uh... What are they called? Things that 
tell you how high something is. Um, I hope there's a road. In a few days, I won't even need that map. I wouldn't think so. Oh, it's a ass st gas station. Let's fill her up while we're here. Uh, 300. I guess I'll talk to her coming out. Unless... She might be the owner. Or working here or something. Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. No. Uh, let's be smart. Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. Haha, <laughs> real funny. But that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. Goose? The goose? Yes, your white and bobbly van, duh. I'm Lori, I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Um, Thomas is my father, does that count? Aren't you a little young? That's none of my beeswax. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. Yay! My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in P.O. than me. P.O.? And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Absolutely. Um... All right. All right, I promise. Good. Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? Nope. No? It currently only receives the local station. Goody. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. Miss W. Can I get a cola since we're here? Nope. Can't seem to step over that curb. Well, I don't think I need gas either. No checks. Up. Oh, I only have checks. Well, solves that. And off we go, unless there's someone. There's no one. One or two now. Gotta take the goose back there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Looking at the wrong screen. Where is this bear creek? Oh, toggle radio. I was told I can get my... Let me think. Where was Bear Creek again? Claims whitelisted or something. If need be. It's kinda nice service. Oh, almost went to the bush. Bear Creek Bridge. I bet at some point I'm gonna lose that map and oh, I have right. to... Oh, right. Bear Creek, near the old lumber yard. ...memorize everything. There's the road. Oh, no, I need to whack the radio. Went all quiet. There's a new face. Mm, don't be smart ass. Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm Meredith. And here's your mail. Thanks. I better open this right away. Okay. Well, you. Oh, what the. Read it out loud then. Um, that doesn't sound that good. Let's be nosy. Sound good. Crap. That's what it sounds like. 
bullcrap. Freshly baked bullcrap. Straight out the oven. Uh, not good indeed. I'll be. Um. Not good indeed. I'll be on my way. Bye. Um. Yeah. You too. Um. Uh, uh, bye. And pardon my French. I guess I should have delved, delved deeper, but can I go inside? No, I can't. I bet. Okay, last package. Let's go around the goddamn lake. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I can probably crash this thing and then I have to go to the lorry. Horn. I hope I can go around the lake. Falling rocks. That doesn't sound good. for me to deliver stuff. At least the radio isn't too loud. Motel. Oh, now I know where that is. I probably know already I've been living here. Uh, well, 22 years ago. Maybe that motel wasn't even there. Okay, stop in the middle of the road. I used to think our Spanner Dam was just as big and famous as Hoover Dam. Oh. Then I visited Hoover Dam. Yeah. What's that? In the middle, right above the roof. Who knows? I'll probably deliver some mail to there eventually. I wonder if I could play this with my steering wheel. Probably not. Well, I could, but not with the uh, actual wheel. I could press the buttons and stuff. Mo's Diner. And there stands Diner. Wait, it's called Mo's Diner now? Mo did. What on earth did these folks order? Ricks. What's wrong with the shades? Or crooked. Comfy. Meredith Wise? As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there. And the occasional gray hair. But by gosh, it's you, all right. Gray hair? Um, wow. Wow. Maureen, long time no see. 
I feel so old. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come <laughs> here. Tell me everything. Uh, I don't really have too much work to do, but uh, one quickie. Okay, one quick drink then. I know you're busy, hon. Little bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. What do you mean temporary? News goes around pretty quickly around here. I'm here so, for good. Coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. Ooh, it's like 17. Uh, coffee sounds good. Coffee sounds good. Thanks. Two coffee. Coming right up. And Two? one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. Uh, yeah. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. Uh, and Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm gonna take my break now. You're a real trooper. Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Now the zombies uh, attack. Is everything okay, hon? Oh, Lord have mercy. Hmm. Ooh, that didn't sound good. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Ugh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. Roof? I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. Huh, so no break. Okay. Is that a civic? No, uh, probably not. May, Oregon. Okay. Uh, what do I do when I have... Oh, there's a thing on the map. Um, where the hell? Oh. Post office. I guess I'm going back to the post office. Oh, and I made these map markers when I went to places. Okay. Cool. Now let's see if I can <clears throat> actually find back. Back to the office. Did I tell the wrong way immediately? There it is. Somehow that seemed logical to her. It wasn't. Uh, the truck needs to make more noise. So I could actually feel like I'm driving. Right. Oh, trying to go straight. I found it. Uh, where did I take the truck from? Can't remember. Put it here. Perfect. <clears throat> Ooh, Tuesday evening. That's one day done. Actually, two days done. Did it start on Saturday? Hello? I don't remember. Hi, Meredith. <laughs> 
How are you? How's the job? Great. Uh, great. Hi, Mom. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Ugh, oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. Uh, I must... Uh... Well, uh, how are you? Must be strange for you as well. How are you doing? Ah, oh, I'm doing great. I'm reading lots of books in the sun. I also went on a beach walk and I saw baby turtles hatch. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. Who's she? Keeps ordering margarita. Some local... Ch okay. Stay home, watch TV, stay home and read a book. I'm gonna read a book. The Countess and the Carpenter? <laughs> really, Mom? Oh, well, let's give it a read. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 1. A more disastrous entry to her new home was scarcely imaginable for Cecilia Schultenbrow. The left wheel of her carriage collapsed right as she entered through the gates of the magnificent Raubenstaben estate. She tumbled upside down, hurt her head, and worse, her hat was ruined. Suddenly, she heard the deep, strong voice of a young man. Are you all right, madam? Oh, it was an audiobook. Never read an audiobook before. That's a little bit strange. Oh, oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stops. Three, two, three, one, and where's the rest? Wait, what? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, there's two for the same interest then. Oh, it's just that I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Uh, let's take the cul-de-sac first. If I can get out of here like so. And press some right keys for a change. Good morning, Whoa. Providence Oaks. We're starting the day as we always do with a PO positive or pet feed, followed by the weather. PO positive or pet PO weatherman. Dale, what's it gonna be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. But the weather's first. Oh, I can't hear the weather now. <clears throat> no. I guess it's okay. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing party invitations? Oh. I would have thought subpoenas, but oh, actually, they shouldn't be delivered by mail. And they would probably be printed. What is this? Aaron Circle. Probably won't remember that. Didn't stop, I know. Oh, the cops didn't see. Uh, there's a parking spot right here. Goody? 351. Don't walk through my truck. That's lighter than I thought. Thank God. Come on in, we have new arrivals. I'm the newest one. Back to the present. Don't do that. Rob Zemeckis film. Stefan Spiel. Hey, well. <laughs> Karate Brat. Or what? Kung Fu Kid. Ghost Blasters. Oh, there's too many things. I want to spend the rest of my life here. 
checking these things. Uh, I want to zoom. Every time you need me. I need to zoom. Somehow. I can't. Late jugger. Mehman. That's true. Thermometer. <laughs> What's this? Tsar face. Al Pachinov. LGM? What the hell is LGM? Hi. Welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? Got a package for you, ma'am. Hold on. You're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. What do you mean? I could say the same as uh, is that I, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I could say the same thing about you. You could, but you'd be wrong. I look exactly like I own a video rental place. If no, you, you don't. were looking to cast a movie and needed someone to play the owner of a video rental place, you'd attach a picture of me to the call sheet. Nope. <laughs> True enough. I'm Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? Um. Am I back? I hope I'm back, but I don't know I'm back. Because I got the computer thing, but I... Th I believe at this point I still think that I'm... Just doing a favor. Oh, grew up here, and now I'm back to do my dad a favor. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. And what brings you here? Didn't grow up here, came to do myself a favor. Hmm. Touché, Mrs. Eastman. Douche. Yes. Ooh, so you're available and all. Um, business? So, Inquiries? How's business? It's it's booming. People in Providence Oaks sure like their movies. I hope they don't uh, have internet. I guess it's because there's not much else to do around here. Oh yeah, it's Might 80s. as well watch a flick, right? Well, other than in Jersey in a ring. Let's be polite. Mm -hmm. You certainly have a lot of them. Choice is everything. Nothing quite tickles the imagination like the right movie at the right time. As long mm -hmm. as... Maybe I should watch more movies. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. Postman still. Postman always rings twice. Oh. Will on the nose, don't you think? My kind of... yeah. <laughs> My kind of humor. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. But touché, Angie. Uh, I'll check it out tonight, actually. All right. I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Ooh. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. And she knows how to teleport. Nice. Gremlins. Let's get out. Look who's here to save us all. Oh yeah, it's the ghost blasters. Where's my truck? There. I still try to run with my usual run key. Well, fast walk with my usual run key. Oh. I'm doing this the wrong way. I should have driven around. So I'd be dropping off to the right side of the street. 
Uh, still, my second day can't do too well. What's this? I think it's a fine street. Oh yeah, it says so. Right. Uh, actually on the left. Uh, I'm not sticking it in there. Hey! This was at the... Uh, uh, Moles. Same car. Ding dong. Hey, ding dong, open your door. Commander Grace, we have established communication with ground control. Uh -huh. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we've landed the rocket. Ground control, we have landed the rocket. We will now begin our experiments. Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute, Commander Grace. Permission to explore? Permission granted. Yep, we're the Evans family. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure. Here you go. <laughs> nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait. What? No. Meredith? No. Buzz Aldrin? Buzz Aldrin? <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? For real? You don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? I don't see her. Kay? Great. And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. Did what? Uh... Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't recognize you with the colander thing. The helmet. Yeah, clearly. But it seems I'm not the only one who came in disguise. I'm not in disguise. Um. You're Kay Evans now? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans, I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. Nope. Mom! Be right there, Commander Grace! Scanning for alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed. Even after the whole Challenger thing. I was about to say Barry has quite a high work voice. Um, quarter Barry. Uh, I don't think that's polite. I'm happy for you. That sounds stupid. Let's go with this. You married Quarter Barry and had kids? I had no idea. Well, obviously, a lot can happen in twenty-two years, so. Not here. Not here. Time flies. Time flies. So, I heard you were back in town for a while. From Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. Mm. Uh... No reason to gossip about people's unfortunate events. Your Uncle Stan wasn't there, unfortunately. I must have just missed him. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while oh. you were away. Also, I work there now. At the diner. That explains the car. Um, Let's compare notes. <laughs> Taking over the family business, eh? Let's compare notes. Yeah, we'll see. Ready for a liftoff! Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. See you around, Em. <laughs> Good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. You can say that again. Yeah. That was... Weird and strange at, strange at the same time. Oh. 
no traffic. Next stop would be uh, oh back here. Well, yeah, again back here. Oh, well, I guess we have time. Brum, brum, brum. Hey, 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 watch where you're going. There's a maniac driving here. Hong Kong. That counts as a stop. Oh, oh, oh. Careful. one I think it's this one I'm doing this wrong way again it doesn't really matter it doesn't take so long to walk over the road the amount of traffic we have and all hey mom and dad have new neighbors Siegler huh oh don't think they ever mentioned them so um that's me the brown house well not me but me no, oh, actually, it's on the map as a white house. I live in a white house. Yay! Probably have oval uh, bathroom or something. Go way down south. What are you gonna do there? Not much. Stick it in. You're still not raising the little flag. I think you should. I hope that doesn't get me fired. And the one letter delivery on our left. I'll drop on our way back. Just to change things around. Coming back, I might stop at the gas station to see the lorry go. Bates Motel. Oh, 
I'm like a delivery guy. Not parking the truck. Just pulling right up front. Take it. Wish I had a job like this. Hello. Oh, he's playing game. I'll wait. Oh no, I can sit down. That's the place I was wondering what the hell it is, I think. Dude. Hello, sir. Parcel for you. Hello? Anyone home? It's the mail. One minute, I'm busy. Well, he's not busy. Now he's being an if asshole. If you could just accept the parcel and let me be on my way. Is that a parcel for me? Uh, no, it's a Bigfoot. No, it's for Bigfoot. You can just put it on the counter. All right, have a nice day. September 1986. This was... Wait, Tuesday 9th, I think? For some reason the calendar starts from Sunday. What the hell is that about? Now let's see. If I turn off the radio... Can I hear the truck? Not really. Truck is too quiet. It's way too quiet. I'm afraid if I raise the volume of the sound effects, something else is gonna blow my ears off. Like when you start the game. It's incredibly loud until the game loads and the uh, main menu shows it quiets down. Still haven't seen the zombies though. I guess it's taking it slow. What's the point of introducing everything on the get-go? Hey, Laurie. Anything wrong with the goose? I can fix it. Okay. Good talk. Good talk. What? Meaningful glances. Other ways. Now, where's the last box? There she is. Bump. Old lady. Oh, crap. It's the crazy cat lady. She's been waiting for a long time. Whoa. Nice box. Meryl, dear. So glad you could come by. Oh, it's quite the emergency. What up? What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. <laughs> He's fallen ill, I think. 
One minute he was full of life, the next he, well, he just wasn't. Let's take him to the doctor. What is catatonic? I don't know. I mean, I'm not a vet, but he looks fine to me. Well, fact is, you're not a vet, are you? Do you exactly know who what knows I about said. animals, though? Is Mr. Mackey. He runs the old bait shop by the lake. Could you take Mortimer to him? Bobby Mackey's Music World, I guess. Um, sure. I'll get right on it. Sure, I'll get right on it. Here, little kitty, come on. My Wonderful. Road is done. Be nice to Meredith Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair in her van now. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Bye, Meredith. See you soon, Mortimer. If I could just remember who I was supposed to take it to, Mackie. Bobby Mackie's Music World. That's it. Ooh. I hope I'm not stuck. Looks bad. Did I put it? I guess I'll take him to the front. Oh, let's check the map. Well, next ride. Pretty much. I think C did something. What did it do? Not a damn thing. Is that the place? Map is off. Let's make it easier for us to leave. I have the cat? Yes, I do. I never checked my own plates. Bait tackle and boat rental open May, June, July, August. Closed. There's a... Uh, oop. Oh. It don't make no sense. Okay, can't read. Uh, do I have to take a boat? Uh, which way? Maybe this way. Or downstairs, but it's closed. Maybe he's at home. Oh shit. Oh, I thought someone's broken the window. He's probably at home. Or not. Maybe he's at the shop. Why is he at the shop? He's not at the shop. I've been fooled again. I've been fooled again. Where the hell is he? Bobby, there he goes. Fish. Mr. Mackey, I know you're closed, but... What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... Oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? Apparently it's Mortimer. Well, pleased to meet you, Mort. Hm, he's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? Uh, to be honest, I have no idea. To be honest, I have no idea. <sighs> Leave him with me, I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. There's a lot of fish on the table there. 
Um, thank you, sir. How are you? Thank you, sir. By the way, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. You go back to running around that lake, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Bye Mortimer. Done for the day. Starfish. Or just a sponge. Rope the sponge. Oh. Well, that's some tough roofing. Good God. Can take a direct hit from uh, H bomb. I just realized I'm pink. Oh, I guess it's just about the uh, shadows. I'm pink in the shadow. Open. Oh. Large screws. Blade. I got no plates. I got no plates. Well, I guess male vans don't need plates. No one cares. Don't need to be registered either. I'll have that movie to watch. Oh, don't screw up now. Close. Put it in the shade this time. Just to mix it up. Oh, bad parking. How am I going to load it up? Let's take it out. Because it has the race door, so... I guess it's good enough. Workday has ended. And I'm about to watch a movie. Wednesday? How's it Wednesday already? There it is. Hi. I skipped today. Oh, hi Steve. How are you? Busy Feel as like. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you got plenty of time, right? Uh, uh, yeah. I guess, but that's nice for a change. Awesome, I need a favor. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for Added 87. I have a it's moment good, to watch. But not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can add it? Huh? <laughs> Uh, when do you need the feedback? I'm not sure how many pages. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. How many pages are we talking about here? It's not much. It's just a pitch, and there's also an instruction booklet. Can't be more than a hundred pages. Hundred. Just send it to your post office, if right? If you. Uh. Well, uh. <laughs> I want to say no, but I can't. So. Unless I, I phrased it differently. Yep. Can't miss you. Something. Yep. Can't miss. Awesome. No. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it, 87. Add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet. Bye. <sighs> That's just dumb. The movie? The movie? Postman always rings twice. Not the mailman. The postman. Newman always rings twice. Yes. Open agenda. What the hell is that? Whoa, what? Aha. Uh -huh. 
So tomorrow I have to review the edit and pick up modem. Okay. Easy enough. Uh, stay home and watch the movie. Let's see. I hope right. this is good. Well, let's watch this. Oh. oh, Steve's parcel. And a note from Tess. Hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there anyways. Take care. Tess. So they didn't show me the damn movie. I guess it must be some copyright BS. Well, um... I'm not sure how the save thing works here, but I hope it saves. At least when the date changes, and... Yeah, we'll continue in the next one.